Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Not With Nat and Jack. Today I am cooking my grandmother's meat sauce. So I have sauteing in extra virgin olive oil, beef short ribs, and some pork ribs sliced. I normally put brazil also, but my supermarket didn't have any brazil and I did not have time. And, um... So I just did these two, and then I'm going to add meatballs later, which you will see. So now that they're nice and browned, I am going to, and I sprinkled salt and pepper on them as they're browning. That's it. Now I'm going to add in some garlic. So I have garlic here. I'm going to throw that in. And then I'm going to mix that all up. And I wait to do the garlic because I don't want to put the garlic in while the meat is browning because then my garlic will get, um, you know, too, too burnt like, and I don't, we don't want that. You don't ever want burnt garlic in your sauce. So I'm going to let, give the garlic a minute to just, as soon as you start to smell it, So I got tomatoes on the vine. So this is the vine I saved. I chopped them up and then I had some grape tomatoes in my kitchen. I'm like, oh, let me throw those in too. So now I'm going to throw these in. And I'm going to let these tomatoes cook for about maybe like 15, 20 minutes in here. And then I will be adding some wine. Let that cook down a little bit. And I'll be back. And when your tomatoes start to cook down and look like this. This was about 20 minutes later. I pour in some Pinot Grigio. Some people use red wine. I've used red wine. I always try to use a good wine. Say the better the wine, the better your dish. So now I'm going to mix that in. And I'm going to let that all cook down for about another 20 minutes. Okay, so now I cook the wine down with the fresh tomatoes. The meat's still in it. Now I'm going to add cans of tomatoes. So I use... Tutoroso crushed tomatoes. And I use Tutoroso peeled plum tomatoes. So I'm going to add to start two cans of each in once my meatballs are in. If I start to see it's stuffy in there, and I will add another can because I got them on sale this week at ShopRite. So I have plenty of cans of crushed tomatoes, peeled tomatoes. Now I'm going to let this cook as it's cooking. When it starts to get hot, I chop up the tomatoes in there, mix this up. And now I'm going to season this. So I season it with, I'm going to throw an onion. I have half, three quarters of an onion. My grandmother puts the onion in just for flavor. And at the end, the onion, we throw take it out with the spoon and we throw it out. We just want the flavor. We don't want chopped onion in our sauce. So I'm gonna put an onion in there. Oh, I put an onion in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And you can always add more. Okay, I'm gonna put in, I love my oregano. So I'm gonna put oregano in there. And as time goes on, I taste it in between and I'll know what to add. I'm going to add some dried basil. Summertime, I use fresh basil because I grow it outside. I refuse to pay like $8 for a few pieces of basil in the grocery store that if you don't use it like within 24 hours, it goes bad. Um, Italian seasoning, going to add some of that. 
And then I got a packet, I'll show you the box, of Saison Goya. You'll see I use this a lot in my cooking. I'm going to be making my Spanish rice soon for you guys. So that's Saison Goya. I'm going to stir all this in, and I'm going to let this simmer for, it's going to simmer for about two hours. I'm going to prepare my meatballs and start frying them up a little bit and dropping those in. I'll do that in a separate video, the meatball part. And um, so this is so far, guys, my sauce and meat literally simmer. I'm going to say like 15 hours or longer. My dad, my grandmother used to yell at him. My dad would make and it was delicious. He would cook his sauce overnight. My dad would keep it on real low and cook it from like one morning into the next day overnight. My grandmother told him he's nuts, but it was delicious. But I let mine simmer um, low um, for quite a while now once I put all the sauce in. So I'll be back. Oh, guys, I forgot. I chopped fresh parsley. So I am also going to add. I did some for the meatballs and I did some for the sauce. So I'm throwing some fresh chopped parsley in there too. And I added some fresh ground black pepper, but I couldn't grind it in holding the foam. Okay, guys, quick rundown how I do my meatballs. If you watched my chicken cutlet recipe, you'll know that I beat my eggs with seasonings. First, I beat the egg before putting the chicken in. I do all the same ingredients as if I'm making those chicken cutlets. So this is beaten egg beaten with salt, pepper, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, oregano, and again, a packet of the Saison Goya, and Italian seasoning, and oregano, and basil, salt, garlic powder, fresh black pepper. I use a package of 8515 fresh ground beef. I use a package of meatloaf mix, veal, beef, and pork. I use a separate of just chopped ground veal and ground pork. So all of these are going to get dropped into here. Then I crushed up, oh, I forgot to pull the bag out. I always use potato bread with my breadcrumbs. I will show you that now as I go for my potato bread. So I use my Marty's potato bread. I ground it up. I'm going to mix that in with my seasoned 4C breadcrumbs and my grated Kirkland Parmesan Reggiano cheese. So I'm going to put the meat, the chopped bread, the cheese, the breadcrumbs into here, mix it all up. Oh, the remainder of my fresh parsley that I put in the sauce is also going in here and I'm going to roll out some meatballs. Frying up my meatballs. That's what they look like. That's how I roll them to about that size. Frying them up. And as they're browning, I will be tossing them into the sauce. And the last half of these, I will be just leaving fried on the side in a container for us to make meatball sandwiches um, or just eat on its own. So here are the meatballs frying. Okay guys, I shut the sauce off. And I ran to the butcher and I got some fresh brajol from the butcher to add to the sauce because I was having like, I guess you call it like anxiety because I didn't have the brajol, like I said in the beginning of the video. So I got beef brajol, pork brajol, and that's the pork, the darker one is the beef. Came home, browned them up, and I'm going to add them to the sauce breading and fried chicken cutlets. You see that in a prior video of mine I did in November. Leave them in a pan with my sauce and some fresh mozzarella cheese and grated Parmesan Reggiano. Sunday dinner, all done guys. My raviolis, chicken parm. Yes, I left it in the oven a little too long, but we actually like it like that. But underneath, it is not burnt. It's just the mozzarella burnt a little bit. 
Here's all our meat, our brajol, our short ribs, meatballs. We made a salad, which we all already started eating with our Italian bread. So happy Sunday. Love you guys.